Hey, welcome to Cranky Bike. Uh, just wanted to give you a heads up this morning on this video. There is a lot of wind and it's probably going to get a little bit of annoying, but the topic is, is important. Uh, if you guys remember, I had a lot of foot problems in my previous video riding 159 miles doing the Tour de Whidbey power portion. So with that being said, there's some good information here on some things you can do to kind of alleviate the problem. So please stick around and tolerate the wind in this video and I'll promise you I won't um, have that problem again. So it's a little bit windy today. So as you're well aware, uh, last week I did the uh, Tour de Whidbey the power portion 159 miles with 11,300 feet of elevation. My feet hurt really bad by the end of it. So I did some research and uh, I just thought it fitting to uh, talk about it in this week's video. Foot cramps and uh, burn, that burning sensation really uh, is debilitating, debilitating, and uh, could really ruin your ride if you're not uh, vigilant about it, about taking care of it. So one of the first things I do uh, when it comes to the cramps in the feet and the, uh, it's funny, they're all looking at me. Hi guys. Anyway, uh, the first thing I do is loose, try to loosen up my shoes and uh, get some more circulation because the feet are swelling inside the shoes. So a lot of times what I like to do as soon as I get through uh, loosening up my shoes is I like to pop them off and uh, or pop them out of the sh Whew, I'm tired. Uh, I like to take them out of the clips and then shake them around a little bit try to get some blood flow going into them again. So when you uh, saw me uh, in the last week's video sitting at the park bench I was really contemplating uh, quitting at that point because my feet were hurting so bad. But there was a nice little trick. You stop, take a break, loosen up your feet a little bit, get the blood flowing again, take your shoes off if you need to, and uh, you know, just get, get blood flow going. So the other thing I did was I took my, uh, my wife calls them my come to Jesus sandals, and uh, I just swapped out shoes entirely. So there is a couple other things that uh, could be going on too. Uh, you could, your shoes could be needing to be replaced. The insoles maybe need to be replaced. Something else that could be going on is your uh, cleats. You could be sitting too far forward on your cleats. So the shoes and cleats I'm using right now are not the shoes and cleats that uh, I was using during the uh, Tour de Whidbey because my feet, even right now are burning in these. Uh, it's time to get new shoes uh, as far as these go. Or insoles, I'm gonna try insoles first, but I'm pretty sure I need new shoes altogether. Uh, it's been happening for, for a couple of months now on shorter rides of 40 miles or less. So, thinking it's the shoes. So the ones I actually used on the uh, Tour de Whidbey are my touring pedals, which are flat on one side and then they're cleats on the other. The, uh, the reason I put those on my road bike was because I knew my feet were going to be burning real quick. And I just got new mountain bike shoes, so I figured I'd give them a go for a long distance to see how they do. They did really well. I mean, they lasted 130 miles. And uh, before my feet really started burning bad. So I think that's a pretty good deal uh, with those shoes and cleats. And then I was able to swap over to my sandals and ride the flats, which was cool. So anyway, to uh, summarize this video and to cut off this wind right here now, you need to move your feet around. You need to make sure you're on the you know, on the, the 
pedal bed properly so not too far forward on the pedal and not too far back on the pedal you also need to get your foot moving around uh, wiggle your toes pop your foot out of the cleat uh, shake it around and then um, you can even take your shoes off walk around for a little bit S prop your feet up uh, take a little break and prop your feet up above where the blood flow is not directly getting to them so some of the swelling can come down uh, another thing you can do is completely swap out shoes entirely like I did with my come to Jesus uh, shoes anyway uh, with that being said I hope you got some information out of this video even though the wind was pretty crappy please like and subscribe uh, it helps me to make more videos have a great day and thanks for biking with me you know what I'm saying? Gotta have some fun on the downhill, right? Oh, shit!